Welcome to Kyle Field, home to the Texas A&M Aggies, a unique and special environment in college football. This crowd coming together to make up the 12th man, trying to make it very difficult for any opponent. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see the number nine team in the land, LSU Tigers, taking on the winners of seven straight, the Texas A&M Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. <laughs> Team is on the field to boot this one away. And it's Fieldrick, and the returner makes something happen here. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? The back's got it. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Getting set. Here's second down. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has a handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. On this opening possession, they'll face a third down and five. Looking to pass. It's Weigman. Bringing pressure. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. And the Aggies will line up to punt it away. In punt formation to kick it away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. The Tigers' offense gets their first crack now. And here we go, Kirk. This matchup on the edge that's going to go a long way to deciding this game. An elite wide receiver and a guy who doesn't believe anybody can beat him. This is going to be like a boxing match where it's an all-out battle. Two extremely gifted athletes competing on every snap. Better get your popcorn ready. He'll be wrapped up on the scramble there, settling for a short game. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Tackle, but first down. The offense with five receivers now, empty backfield. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Running out of time in the pocket. And that pass ball is incomplete. And remember, the last time these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. But with these two teams, it just always seems to be nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Defense has got the football. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. Texas A&M offense back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Yeah. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they led this batch mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. That's a bullet pass to the left side. But this one is broken up, falls incomplete. It's third down for the offense. To throw, it's Weigman. Defense is coming after him. He's looking to scramble. Get some space around the 30. The Aggies come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play, bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. 
With the catch, it's Green. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. This Texas A&M offense is moving quickly down the field. Here's the handoff on first and goal. He's swarmed by the defense. Coming up, second down and goal. Handoff inside, looking for the touchdown. The game good for this a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. Game sets up a third down and goal from the six. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Aggies. That's why he's a dangerous scrambler. The quarterback says, I'm just going to end this scoring drive right here. I'll do it myself. Yeah, and everybody's covered downfield. The defense has done a pretty good job of containing the offense. The problem is this guy's creativity. I don't know, maybe put a spy, a linebacker on him to try to mirror him when he takes off the scramble. Try to add to the lead now with a PAT. PAT is good. They jump in front, 7 0. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. And they bounce back from that costly error here. He'll hand it off. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Offense getting set. It's second down. Dropping back. It's Nussmeyer. And he lofts it toward the sideline. Catch made at the 20 in the deep shot. Big game. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Bayou Bengals. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake, and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. And it's up and good. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turner looking to make a play here. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. And heads out of bounds after a decent game. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback keeps the football. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. Pressure is coming. After all that running around, they've got him for a sack. Chris, this one's on the quarterback, in my opinion. He's got to have a better feel and a presence in the pocket to be able to either check it down or get rid of the ball. You just can't take the sack. And the Aggies will have to punt this one away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Nowhere to run. They'll corral him for no gain. Second down after that previous play. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage, or 
face a tricky fourth down decision. Looking to scramble now. Slides to avoid the big hit. LSU getting set with a first and ten now. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They stop him after a six-yard gain. So second and four. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Finds his man. It's Lacey. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. This LSU offense is moving quickly down the field. And they'll use the ground game here. They stop him after a six-yard gain, so second and four. The clock is running last minute in a very entertaining first quarter of play. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. The pass rush closing in. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. The pocket breaking down. And the pressure gets to him again. So some early drama here. We're all even at the end of one. Take a quick pause and check out the stats from this first quarter. And as we move to the second quarter, we hope these teams will build a promising start. And the punt team now on to kick it away. And he puts it out of bounds, so no return. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And here comes a deep shot. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. Offense getting set. Second down play here. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. The short completion of the tight end. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the cornerback. Not easy with that size difference. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. The Aggies will line up to kick it away. Choosing to return the punt. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And the offense trots back out on the field again. Here comes the handoff. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. It's a shotgun run call. Finds room at the 30. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, it really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. First down, looking to throw the ball. He's got it right near the end zone. The defense makes the stop at the three. So two big plays in a row. The defense is reeling here. Now it's first and goal. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, LSU. Sam Bam Cunningham, Bo Jackson. That's a play that legendary running backs have made. And let's not forget Herschel Walker. Yeah, it's right. You're thinking of old school running backs. It's very rare to see backs go up and over at the goal lines. Refreshing. Nice to see. 
Well, they'll try to add to the lead now with the BAT. The BAT is good. They go over touchdown, 14-7. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Turn starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Grab behind the line. It's Muhammad. The defense drops him for a loss. He went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. He'll take a deep shot here. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Get some space around the 30. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. Texas A&M getting set for the first and 10 now. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They bring him down at the 44. That's a solid game. Getting closer to midfield now. See what the call is on first and 10. And they'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. Brought down to crosses midfield to the 46. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. Scanning the field. It's Weigman. And he's going to run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Wanted no part of contact on that play. This is the sixth play on the drive. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Looking for the wide out. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. And the Aggies will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. Boy, a great throw here by the quarterback and a big gain here for Texas A&M's offense. A great route by the wide receiver and the ability to go up and make a play. Boy, they've had some great ones over the years. Let's it go quickly. He pulls it in for a big gain. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. Texas A&M has moved into the red zone now. Trying to run it. It's Moss. Just a small gain. Look at it. Second and nine. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Makes the grab. Can he get there? Tackle at the eight after the completion. So here we go. Third down. Defense needs a stop here. Try to force a field goal attempt. to the end zone. Touchdown, AM. And that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. And it's good. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He'll bring it out from his end zone. Tackled at the 23. Cornered out. Tried to make a play. But good coverage that time. And Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Off the play fake on first down. He's running out of time here. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. Well, the offense tries to go into play action to slow this defense down, but they weren't buying. They applied the pressure and came up with the sack. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Here's the option play. Pitch to the back. They've got him behind the line. The option doesn't work at all. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long. 
inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Here's a screen pass to the running back. And the screen doesn't produce a first down. Good work by the defense. Now it's fourth down. And here comes the punter onto the field. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. The passing game was clicking beautifully in the last drive. Right down for a touchdown. Let's see if they can do it again. Stop short of the marker after just a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught behind the line. It's Muhammad. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Using his legs here. Gets into space at the 50. Stopped at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. The clock has stopped. We've reached the two-minute warning before halftime. Looking downfield, it's Weigman. That ball snagged for a completion. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. And Texas A&M getting set for the first and 10 now. Running back grabs it on the screen. And he never had a chance tackled in the backfield. Second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back. Bringing pressure. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. And now the offense will call a timeout. Something the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. And the pass rush has got him again. Back to back sacks. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down just to get everybody on the same page. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And he's got it at the 15. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Empty set now, five wide receivers. Here comes a first down pass attempt. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Pass protection a serious issue. Another sack makes it second and long. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. One thing I love about this man is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Running out of time in the pocket. Cannot escape and down he goes. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. One team ready to boot it away. Bringing it back, it's Moss. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. The Aggies will kick this away to get the second half going. Return looking to create better field position. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. 
first play of the second half, they keep it on the ground. And brought down at the line with that big defensive tackle. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Running back has it on a screen now. We're finally able to stop him, but the defense has fooled a bit on that screen play. It's a solid game for a first down. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Makes the grab. It's Daniels. Boy, there's great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. Looking to pass here on second down. Defense is coming after him. Going for a big play downfield. Tried to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. Looking to throw it again. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. They bring the punter onto the field now. Coverage team brings down the returner. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. And they finally get things going this time. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Here's the second down play. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Gets rid of it on the move. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag. Brings up third down. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Pressure is coming. Well, he scrambled and scrambled, doesn't get the ball away, and is finally dropped for a sack. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. And the Aggies will send their punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. And the returner brought down by the coverage team there. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Last drive stalled with a force to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. From the shotgun, handoff inside. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Now it's second down here. Caught in the backfield, it's Thomas. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. This offensive line, flat out, by not handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris, get this, seven sacks in this game so far. The punt team making their way on the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. Returner decides to fair catch this. And the Texas A&M offense heads back out onto the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. And tackled after a small pick up there. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Looking to throw. It's Weigman. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. The pass rush closing in. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks alone in this game. The Aggies will line up to punt it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. 
and that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. And they finally stop him down at the five solid gain on that catch and run. Well, when the dust settles and the games are over, it's how many big plays did you create and how many did you prevent? This is a huge play for this offense. Now, can they get the ball into the end zone or they have to settle for three? Well, that didn't take long. One play, and suddenly we're looking at a first and goal situation. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. The pocket breaking down. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. Well, it's a great job by this defense coming up with a big sack there on first and goal. The offense still has their opportunities. Let's see if they can get back on track here on second and goal. This will be a challenge now. Second and goal back at the 13. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. So a huge play to start the drive and get in scoring position, but now it's third and goal. Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. He's running out of time here. Touchdown, Tigers! And they go in front here in the second half. Quarterback doesn't see anybody open. Kirk says, no, I'll just do this myself. How about this? What a luxury. Anytime you can make something happen, even when all the receivers are covered, everything's taken away, you take it yourself. And good luck to the defense trying to stop that. Extra point try coming now. PAT makes it a seven point lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Aggies offense back on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Breaking free at the 35. And they keep the drive going. It's a first out of the 46. And the Aggies looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Outstanding blocking on the left side of that offensive line. That's really what opened up this play. They did their job, and you can see the results. You burst open and get a big gain on the ground. If I were them, I'd keep going to that side and see how much more success they can have. First down to 10. And he'll set up to throw. And it's incomplete, even in a first down throw. He was under some heavy pressure. Second down after the incompletion. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Bringing nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. And the defense jumps on the football. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. And here comes that LSU offense back onto the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. Trying to find room. It's Williams. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second down play coming up for this offense. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Grab behind the line. It's Lacey. It was a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. 
game moves the ball to the 21 and a fresh set of downs. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. LSU getting set with a first and 10 coming up. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Here's the target, and it's complete. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. This will be a 46-yard attempt. Right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And he takes this from inside the five. The defense able to bring him down to wrap up the third quarter of play. And as we take a break to flip into the field, let's take a quick look at the current national rankings. set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? And here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They'll run it to the left. Breaking free at the 35. He has first down yardage at the 46. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. That little pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side. Able to create a great push. Nice crease in the back. Found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. Makes a quick grab. He stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. To throw, it's Weigman. Short throw complete to the tight end. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout where they check him out. Here's a first and ten play. Handoff here from the shotgun. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. Getting set. Here's second down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he's got it. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain in the pitch and catch. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. Here we go. Force to go. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. So off the loss, it's second and goal from the eighth. Now second. Grab behind the line, it's Muhammad. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. And they cut into this lead now on third and goal. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Down he goes, a sack. 
Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game and another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. So on fourth down, Number here comes nine, a nine, crucial nine, field goal attempt. And that one's straight down the middle. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, so here comes the LSU offense back on the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away. Chew on the clock. How will they call it here? Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Second down. They'll hand it off. And he will be stuffed for no gain. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. After second effort, he's brought down, but it's past the marker. LSU getting set with a first and 10 now. Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. And look at the speed there. They finally bring him down, but it's a nice game. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Quarterback's got it on the option. He'll toss it to the back. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Offense gets set up here. It's third down. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Running out of time in the pocket. On the run, he'll let it go. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. When the defense gets these guys to third down, they got a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense this way. LSU is now operating in the red zone. Caught behind the line. It's Lacey. And it'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Pass incomplete, very nearly intercepted that time. Crucial third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three? And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. I think that was a coverage sack as much as anything. They sat back in a dime defense with six defensive backs, and none of them blitzed. They just sat back in coverage, and the defensive line eventually came up with a sack. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. No problem. Knocks it right through. And that will extend their lead even further. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Here comes the Texas A&M offense back on the field. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot, looking to find the end zone. That's caught. It's Thomas. Breaks loose at the 40. 
Tackle is finally made, but it's a huge game all the way to the 48-yard line. The Aggies looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Hadn't been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. Offense getting set. It's second down. Dropping back, it's Weigman. Looks like he's going to run it. The defense will wrap him up, but he's able to scramble for a first down and keep the drive going. Offense in hurry-up mode. I'd really like this call by this offense on second and short. Looking to maybe take a shot downfield. Nobody is open, so instead... Oh, look out, the football is free. Fumble recovered by the defense going the other way. That's a great play by the defender who forced the fumble, but let's also recognize the heads-up play from the guy who recovered it. They were in the right place, just the right time. And that Bayou Bengals offense is back out on the field. They love to produce some points and build this lead, but also work on the clock here. Getting close to midfield now. They bring him down to the 47. The game makes it second and medium. And the quarterback keeps it here. Breaks loose at the 40. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. Tough running to avoid a loss that just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. He'll drop back here on third down. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Running team is on the field. Defense gets off the field with that sack. And the kick bounces and goes out of bounds down near the goal line. Outstanding work by the punter. All right, so it's first and ten back inside the five-yard line. We're going to see how much this play caller trusts his quarterback. How aggressive will he be from this spot? It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Important second down play coming up. Dropping back. It's Weigman. Defense is coming after him. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Quarterback looking to scramble. And it's incomplete, but here comes the flag. So hold on, let's check that out. So the offense obviously will decline the penalty and take the result of the play. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. And it's incomplete. And the drive will fizzle out here in the final minutes. It's the best possible starting field position. First and goal from the one. Second down after that previous play. And with the game in hand, the offense just takes a knee. Well, so much emotion coming into this game. Always tough to lose to your rival and know the other side's going to have bragging rights now. Yeah, this one hurts. This one hurts. These are the losses that cut a little deeper because of the bad blood between the two teams. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.